Welcome to our lecture online and here we're going to talk about Lewis structures and exceptions to the octet rule. I've mentioned before that when uh, atoms come from the third or fourth period that it's not unusual that there's exceptions to the octet rule but there's other reasons even with some elements from the second period you can have exceptions to the octet rule. So take a look at this, uh, this molecule nitrous oxide. Yes it is a molecule and for, for what will be a very obvious reason, you cannot satisfy the octet rule and see just a moment why that is. For example, uh, nitrogen has of course five valence electrons and oxygen has six valence electrons. This gives us a total of 11 electrons, which is an odd number. Since we came up with an odd number of valence electrons, you can already guess that the octet rule cannot be satisfied. So let's, let's see what the Lewis structure of this has to look like. Well, nitrogen, of course, has the lowest electronegativity, which puts it as the central block of this molecule. Of course, since there's only two, it doesn't really make a lot of sense to talk about the central block. So we can just say that it's probably going to look something like this. And notice, let's start with a, a single bond between them. If we do that, then, of course, we would have four valence electrons around the nitrogen, and then we would have how many around the oxygen? Let's say one, two... Uh, three, four, and five valence electrons around the oxygen. So, uh, are we satisfied here? Well, let's see, we have two, four, six for nitrogen and two, four, six, seven for oxygen. Probably not a good situation. Probably what's going to happen is that an additional one of these, an additional one of these will come in and form another bond because since the octet rule is not followed for both of the atoms. That's an unlikely scenario. So let's try that. Let's see if that works. So now we end up with nitrogen and a double bond with oxygen, which leaves only four valence electrons for the oxygen. And now notice that the oxygen, which is the most electronegative of the two atoms, now has followed the octet rule, which is a more likely scenario, which leaves us with just three electrons for the nitrogen, which is the least electronegative element, and now it has seven valence electrons, at least on a sharing basis instead of eight, and so we feel that this would be the most likely Lewis structure of the, um, of the nitrous oxide molecule. But again, notice that there's no way to make the octet rule be followed by both uh, of the uh, by both of the atoms and so this would be the most likely scenario and this is the proper way of drawing the Lewis structure. So octet rule is not followed but it's actually a fairly stable molecule. 